Welcome to Repairing Lawnmowers for Profit. In this video we're going to take a look at this oil extractor kit behind me. I'm going to also teach you the best way to tip a lawnmower up and actually just explain why it's not a good idea to tip these up at all. And I'm going to show you a really easy way to change the oil on your lawnmower without actually having to tip it up whatsoever. We're going to get started right now. If this is your first time on Repairing Lawnmowers for Profit YouTube channel, please subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. That way I can keep you up to date on all new videos that are coming out and you won't miss a thing. And best of all, it's completely free. So one of the top 10 questions I get asked on the YouTube channel is, which way is the correct way to tip a petrol lawnmower up? And I always reply with the same answer saying, why do you need to tip it up? And nine times out of 10, it's because they want to change the oil. There's absolutely no need whatsoever to tip a lawnmower up or work underneath it, unless you're changing the blade or perhaps taking some grass off the deck underneath. But if you are planning on working underneath any lawnmower, of course the best thing to do first is remove this lead and completely remove this spark plug. So the operating instructions for these type of petrol lawnmower with the Briggs and Stratton engine actually suggest that you actually tip this lawnmower straight back this way. Now I hate tipping lawnmowers up unless I absolutely have to. I'm going to show you the reason why. Be sure to watch this video to the end and you could be our lucky competition winner this time and you could win yourself a repairing lawnmowers for profit DVD. So if you tip this lawnmower up with the exhaust facing down, you'll actually find that you get some oil running through this engine and everything through the carb. And when you start this lawnmower back up again, you'll get the white smoke problem that I've shown on previous videos. So you may think, well, why don't we tip it the other way up? Why don't we tip this exhaust the other way around? Because if you do that, then you'll have all petrol spilling out of here. Because these fuel caps are actually vented on here and you'll get fuel everywhere. And that'll make even more of a mess. The only two reasons I ever tip a lawnmower up to work underneath are to change the blade and just wire brush the deck underneath to take the grass off. I'm going to show you how I would do this. What I tend to do is just tip it up as little as possible so I'll kind of get it to this point. I'll just tip this lawnmower over and I'll lean it against something such as a, a garage wall or your fence. Just to the point where it only just is tipped to as, as little as it needs to be just to stay up. So like that. And then I will work underneath this mower. But there's absolutely no need to do this. I know some of these mowers underneath have drain plugs on as well, but in a lot of cases you might have to remove this belt guard as well. And while we do this, I'm going to test out this Rockwood 4 litre oil and fluid extraction kit I bought very cheaply off eBay. A lot of my subscribers will have seen this piece of equipment before. This is a peeler or peller 6000 oil extractor. I use this on all my mowers, but recently I lost the part on this. I actually lost this bottom part. So I couldn't actually use this extractor and I thought just for a bit of fun really I will just purchase a cheap one off eBay and see if it does the job. So let's take a look in this box and let's just see exactly what we're going to get. I've got a little funnel, instructions, got this little unit itself, I have a feeling this yeah, actually feels quite solid, it's not really flimsy or anything like that. We've got the uh, actual pump itself, it's actually got a thread on it as well so that looks like it screws in there. Uh, and then we've got, oh, we've got here some tubing. Okay, looks like we've got two parts of tubing as well. Yeah, there's actually two separate parts here. There's actually this one here and a thinner one as well, so you can connect these together. So it's quite long, and the thinner one's really handy when you're trying to get in here and actually drop it down right to the bottom of this and take the oil out. What I generally do is I just tip the front end of this lawnmower up just so the engine's sloping back ever so slightly. But first of all, I'm just going to run it for two or three minutes. The oil just needs to be warm, it doesn't need to be hot, it just needs to be warm enough so it can extract it. So I'm just going to fire this up and we'll leave it running a couple of minutes just to warm this oil up. So let's quickly assemble this Rockwood 4 litre oil and fluid extraction kit. Just pull this off the top there. I said before this is threaded as well which is great because when I put that on there it's not actually going to come off on that peeler one I've got. This keeps lifting off all the time. So this feels nice and sturdy to start with and I'm going to screw this on here. Oh, it's very simple, straightforward, but I thought I might as well show you this while I'm doing it. I'm going to connect that up. I'm also going to connect this smaller pipe here. I'm going to put this in the end just so we can connect this up. And that'll just enable us to get down the actual into the engine of this lawnmower a little bit easier. So if I push that into there, like that, we've actually got the thinner end we can actually put into this mower. You can see there's a connecting tube there. So all I'm going to do now is tip this lawnmower back slightly. We're going to put this in and pump this extractor and see if it extracts this oil. Look at this, I actually think I've got paparazzi stalking me here. Just checking out my next mower with it before it's actually released. It's been around at least three times that. <laughs> okay, so now I've run this mower for a few minutes just to warm this oil up. As I said, it doesn't need to be really hot, it just needs to be warmed up. I'm actually just going to put this on a couple of bricks just to tilt it back a little bit. 
and I've just put this down here as you can see this goes right to the bottom of here and we're just going to pump this up and let's actually see if this cheap fluid extraction kit from eBay actually does the job okay so let's give this a go see this coming through As you can see there, that did a great job. I actually had to pump this up a lot more than my peeler one over here. This actually just two or three times and it just keeps going. I had to pump this one up a little bit more, I was just giving it a chance to work. But it's actually done this job and it's cleared all the oil right through this line and right into this extractor. So for the price of this, I'm really happy with that. So for the price of that extraction kit there, it's so cheap to buy this, it, it just eliminates you having to tip your lawnmower the wrong way. There is really no right and wrong way to tip a lawnmower, the best thing to do, as I've said before, is try not to tip it up at all. Now the second question I always get is, which type of oil do you use for your lawnmowers? If you like my t-shirt, please click like. This was made by Martin Butler when I visited his Retro Restore channel the other day. I actually went round to his house and we had a look round at all the other things and he really kindly made this for me. And I know his wife Sharon has a, a t-shirt business called T-Shirt Cave. I'll put a link to T-Shirt Cave in the description of this video. I sell lots of uh, funky t-shirts there so be sure to check out T-Shirt Cave as well. So the correct oil to use on these mowers is actually SAE 30 oil the telly to use. But if you actually look on a, a YouTube channel called Project Fan, these lawnmowers will run on anything. Any standard motor oil. In fact he was even running it on vegetable oil and WD-40 would you believe. So what I do nowadays is I just get some general motor oil in this. Some decent quality stuff really and I just tip in just under half a litre of this and I top it up as I go from there. Right so let's just have a couple more goes of this to make sure absolutely everything's out. If you haven't got anything else just get some standard motor oil like this. This is even from Wilkinson's I think it's about six pounds and as I say as long as it's got some oil in it it's going to run okay. Right so I've got all that. Generally it's just half a litre of oil so I like to just do under that. I'll just tip it in manually and keep checking the gauge on this dipstick as well. All we're going to do really this time is we're going to tip it in with a funnel and we'll just take it up to about halfway on the notch here and we'll check this oil. So one little tip I've got, when you've finished extracting oil obviously there's some oil still left in these lines here as you can see. What I generally do is just get some, uh, a bit of water or whatever you want rid of and I'll just put it in here and we'll just pump this up a little bit. See I need to do that with one hand. I just generally suck some water up or whatever and it just cleans these lines out. It's everything nice and tidy so when you wrap this up and put it back in your garage all these lines out just full of oil. You can see here these, uh, these lines are just becoming clear now. So we're just going to add some oil back into this mower now. And all I'm going to do is just keep re-measuring this just to make sure we've got the correct amount in. So we'll just put that in for now and we'll let this settle. So let's check this oil again and just see exactly where we are. You can see on here we're nearly up to this full line here and everything's nice and clean as well. In fact there's maybe just a little bit too much in there so I'll just take a little bit out of the extractor but once again it just saves tipping this lawnmower upside down. So there we go, I'm just below full there which is exactly where I want to be as I said don't overfill these. Everything looks nice and clean and to do the oil change on this lawnmower I've actually not had to tip it up whatsoever. Okay, the first person that can put the exact time they saw someone sunbathing next to the paddling pool in the comments section of this YouTube video wins herself a repairing lawnmowers for profit DVD. So we'll just start this mower up, it may smoke a little bit as obviously I've tipped it up just for the tutorial. So I'm going to highly recommend this Rockwood 4 litre oil and fluid extraction kit that I bought on eBay and I'm going to link to this in the description below. It's a great little tool to have if you're going to start repairing these for profit. Stay tuned a second as well because in a second I'm going to give you an update on the last two lawnmowers that I've sold and tell you exactly how much profit we've made. Remember to subscribe and click the bell notification icon. So I'm just going to do a quick update video now. If you remember back to last week I actually picked a McCulloch lawnmower up for £20 and I actually picked up another fly mower one. In fact I picked two up. One was free and one was £5. So last week I spent £25 plus a little bit of petrol money in a brewery trip on two petrol lawnmowers and I actually got three for that. So £25 spent. I made £60 profit on the McCulloch one and I made £95 profit on the fly mower one. That's £155 profit from two lawnmowers. Now I actually asked £120 for the fly mower 
self-propelled mower and if you're using Facebook Marketplace it actually tells you how many views you'd had so I'd had around 400 views on that and I'd like no inquiries but sometimes that can happen and I actually had a friend of mine actually get in touch through another friend and I said I would do that for them for a cracking deal of a hundred pound but they'd have to come and pick it up they were happy with that and I also asked them because I'd done them a little bit of a deal if they knew anybody that was getting rid of one could they let me know first and actually I've just had a message this morning before I filmed this video and through that sale I've actually got another one to pick up tomorrow which is Saturday morning and they don't want anything for it so I asked what it was and they said it's a mount field so just by putting myself out and about last week and knocking on the door of somebody's uh, house that had a lawnmower going for free outside I picked up the next door neighbours and sold that with a £95 profit I picked one up from Leeds and word of mouth has got round and I've got a free one coming tomorrow and this is how things start when you start repairing for profit it has a massive snowball effect once people know that you do this you just get your name out there and this thing will just roll and roll and you will be up and running. So I hope this video covers which way to tip your petrol lawnmower up as I've said. Try and tip it carb side up if you do have to do it. Obviously try and run the fuel out of it as well so there's nothing going the wrong way or as little as possible. But I would absolutely not tip a lawnmower up unless I absolutely had to. And I totally recommend this Rocket Wood 4 litre oil fluid extraction kit. Please subscribe if you like what you see here and click the bell notification icon and you could watch all my other videos as well and it'll keep you up to date with all the new ones I post and at the end of this video there'll be some links either side just to some of the of my most popular uploads. Thanks for watching and I will see you again shortly.